Hi, this is Chris Charles with Everyday BBA, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the Runtime Error 1004. It's application to find or object to find error. There's some uh, historical errors that you can run into as far as copying a sheet. Um, there's some other errors you can get where you're, if you create a new workbook and you create 275 sheets, you can run into this error. I'm not going to focus on those because I really doubt that you're going to run into that. I'm going to focus on basically the main one that you're going to run into. So I've got Excel open. I also have my Visual Basic Editor open. If you hit Alt F11, we'll open this window up. We're going to add a module. And we're going to talk, call this sub runtime 1004. There's our macro. So, what is a runtime 1000 for? Most likely you're going to run into it when you have an empty variable. So, you're going to go n equals um, uh, n equals 0. Let's just do that. And if we went cells n, comma, 1, and then we tried to select that. And I process this. It's going to give me an, it's going to give me my runtime error 1004 because cells zero in does not exist. That would basically be right here. It would be above the one right there. So that's when you're that's most likely when you're going to run into that. You also get the same thing if you had a range, you kind of misspelled. Um, so you had one out there a ways, and you did like z a one. And you were trying to put this into a variable. We're going to just basically reuse that in. I got that error. I'm going to hit debug. I'm going to run this down like this. Looks like that one actually works. So let's get rid of that. Let's go zz. ZA1 is a range. Who would have thought? So if I hit F8, it's going to give me that object. 1004 error because that range actually doesn't exist and most of the time um, if you're getting this error this is why you're going get, to be getting it one of your variables is off where you've selected a range that doesn't exist or you've selected a cell that doesn't exist or somehow your um, variables got blanked out somewhere along the way so that's what you're going to run into that's a quick rundown on the VBA runtime error 1004 hope you enjoyed